When making a pour over coffee, as it is brewing down, there will naturally be some evaporation from the carafe. And this is what in part gives the environment around us that incredible and delightful aroma of a deliciously brewed coffee. However, what if I told you you could capture those aromatics before they floated away and became a vapor, and rather kept them within the brewed coffee to enhance the flavor of your final cup? Kind of sounds like witchcraft, but this is in fact what the extraction chilling method does and is the premise behind the innovative brewer, the Nucleus Paragon Dripper. Hi everyone, what's up? Josh here with the Paragon Dripper from Nucleus. And we're talking specifically about flavor compounds that when extracted out of coffee and at higher temperatures, they're volatile to becoming aromas. And we now understand thanks to scientific research that actually limiting this has a positive impact on the flavor profile of our brewed coffee. So we're gonna walk through this patented brewer and if you're still with me, smash the like button and hit the subscribe. Let's get our brew on. Now there is one thing I wanna lead with and that is that the Paragon Brewer is not going to mask bad techniques. That is, it's not going to turn a poorly extracted coffee into a great tasting one. So you wanna start with good beans, have a reliable recipe with good technique and execution to really harness how the Paragon can transform your coffee. So let's go ahead and make a brew. I'll be using 18 grams of coffee and brewing with 300 grams of water at 91 degrees Celsius. I'll be following a four to six ratio for brewing with a total of four pours. So you wanna set up your Paragon dripper with the chilling rock as close to the bottom of the paper filter without touching it, as this is the exact point where we wanna chill those aromatics. The three levels that the Paragon comes with, these are all adjustable up or down, and there is also a handy scale on the back of the stem for your convenience to replicate setups. Thanks to these adjustable levels, the Paragon can accommodate all drippers and carafes. The other thing to note here is the Paragon chilling rock, which is the heart of the Paragon dripper. This requires to be left in the freezer prior to brewing. I found it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to cool down. Otherwise, you can also place this in a cup of ice water and it gets pretty cold quickly that way as well. It is a dense material and there is some liquid inside it, so I think it's gonna maintain a good cold temperature once it's removed from the freezer for a few minutes. So it's not paramount that you have to brew next to your freezer or run between that and the brewer just so the rock maintains an ideal temperature as, as long as it's cold, it's gonna do the trick. Now the Paragon Dripper also comes with two of these rocks, which means you're gonna be able to brew back-to-back -back coffees, say if you're on a brew bar, without having to cool a single rock down between brews. You may need to adjust the position of the chilling rock to ensure that the stream of brewed coffee is thinly dispersed across the surface of the rock to maximize its effectiveness. Now, I won't be utilizing the chilling rock all the way through the recipe, though it is really up to you. Studies have shown that it's the first 20 to 30% of an extraction where the majority of the aroma volatile flavor compounds, which is a mouthful, it's when these are extracted. So following on from that suggestion, I'll be pushing the chilling rock aside just after I complete my third pour.
And with the brew slowly coming to an end, you can again push that dripper aside over the pan, catching any last drips and keeping your station clean, and be ready to serve and enjoy your coffee. Silky. Now it's important to note that the coffee hasn't cooled down so far that it's now cold. It's still at quite enjoyable temperature to begin drinking at. However, certainly if you're a connoisseur of pour over coffee, tasting it as it's cooling down, as you might know, it's remarkable to note how some flavors change, others are intensified, and then others still become muted. Every time I've used the Paragon dripper, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how sustaining the enjoyable flavors are throughout the process of the coffee cooling down and me drinking it. And certainly as it did for me at the Melbourne International Coffee Expo that I recently attended, tasting coffee side by side with identical brews, one with the Paragon dripper and one without, that really highlighted for me the difference that chilled extraction makes to a coffee. And I do recommend if you get that chance to do the side by side comparison, do it as it will give you that higher appreciation, further understanding and knowledge of that difference that chilled extraction makes. So with that, so with that, I'm going to reset all of this up, do a little blind tasting side by side with the chill rock and one without, see if I can pick the difference. That was really close. Really comfortable holding those two jugs. I feel like I've done that before, definitely have. We're running right on time. Actually, I was going to, that's right. I was going to measure these brews out just so I can get the same amount in each. Let's, uh, let's do a blind tasting now. I'm gonna turn this on, turn around, give it a moment, come back and give them a taste, see how I go. We'll be back in a sec. All right, that's plenty of time. I get carried away sometimes. Forget how long it's been. There we go. But we cut anyway, so yeah, it's pretty easy. Two brews. Woo. They're still pretty hot. All right, I'm gonna taste one, then we'll taste the other. This is, this is so much better than espresso tasting back to back, I've gotta say. Light, floral, sweet. This isn't even a test, this is so easy. Easy because, understandably, it is a little bit cooler. It's more elderflowery. There's just, uh, there's a lot more sweetness in this cup and it's, it, it's like a whole boldness of sweetness. It doesn't drop off, it's lingering, it's there at the start, it's there at the end. It's consistent, it's like you're drinking juice where the flavor is the flavor and it's consistent. You know, it's interesting, like some coffees you can taste and their flavor's kind of really strong at the start and then it just kind of drifts off. Whereas this sort of uh, a brew, it's a very, cons it's juice. It's very consistent flavor all the way through. Whereas this is very slick on the tongue. It's tea-like, not juice-like. It's tea-like, which is still very enjoyable, but it has that kind of lingering off effect where, where the, the acidity, the sweetness, all kind of meld into like a finish of some sort. There's just a silky texture to this coffee. Now, I'm, I'm straight up saying that this is the Paragon and this is not the Paragon. And I'll be right, P for Paragon, no Paragon. And, and to be honest, that's been my experience, not only just with this coffee in this experiment, but trying other light roasted coffee, trying medium coffee. I haven't gone so far as trying dark roasted coffee yet with pour overs, just not my thing. But if it's your thing, definitely try it and let me know what your thoughts are. I feel like with the several coffees I've tried with the different roasts, different brands, even if it's just not light roasted coffee, there is definitely a change in texture to the coffee, absolutely. By like 
absolutely, there's a change in texture to the coffee. And what that does on the tongue is it just carries all those flavors forwards, makes a, a more of a lingering experience in the coffee. And that certainly, that aspect to it helps carry the flavors and, and makes them more pronounced. So that was, that was a no brainer. It was a really easy task. Uh, and I probably wouldn't drink that one as much as smashing this one. This is this. As far as the aromatics in the jar itself, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really pretty well straight on. Now, so is the Paragon Dripper a game changer? Yes, it is. And it's already been used successfully at coffee brewing championships. And the further we explore, discover, and share newer techniques, the better our coffee journeys become. Used in its best way, chilled extraction is proven the capabilities to maximize the best attributes of an extraction, as well as sometimes bringing out entirely new flavor compound combinations for flavors never experienced before in particular brews. So if you have any further questions on the Paragon Dripper, add them in the comments section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for hanging to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.